Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue once again with my Let's Play of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. This is episode 4, and I believe we did all these Space Marine things. We got this dude, Ideas, sure. Or Ida Eos, Eos. But it's fine. So we have Ideas added to the thing. Another Assault Marine, but we have our Wolf. Our wolf assault marine, but we don't need to uh, really do anything else. So, there you have it. Let's get on with our lives here. And hop into the campaign, pain, pain, pain. Alright, watch Station Helios. The hive ship has broken from the main fleet and is heading for Watch Station Helios. If the Tyranids destroy the stronghold, the Death Watch's war will be over before it begins. The kill team must board the hive ship and destroy it from within. Drowning pools. All right, let's go drown in some pools. Sounds fun. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have different difficulties we can do. Well, it looks like we do, but apparently we can only do it on normal. All right, the kill team have aborted the hive ship and are making their way to the biomass pools with an experimental atrophine agent. If delivered correctly, the agent will eat the hive ship from the inside. Guess we're going to play it on normal. Here you decide on the kill team that you will be taking on the mission. As you unlock new Space Marines and War Gear and gain experience, you will be able to swap out and upgrade your Space Marines. Click on the icon to swap the Space Marine War Gear or to spend their XP. Click on the icon to swap your Space Marines with another in your collection. Alrighty, so there we go. I'm okay with our current group. I mean... We have the Devastator Marine, we have the Assault Marine, we have two Tactical Marines, and then we have a third Tactical Marine who's also a veteran Tactical Marine, so I like our squad, I think we're going to roll with it. So, Oh, and this is the Eye for the Inquisition, I believe is what it is, not the Imperium. So this is the Inquisition Eye, that's what I guess controls or something of the Death Watch. I don't know guys, I'm getting bits and pieces, uh, lots, lots and lots of information from different people. And I'm probably going to butcher it even further, but we're going to roll out with what we have and get stuff handled. Hive Guard have an extremely powerful Impaler Cannon, that doesn't sound pleasant at all, which they can use when they start their turn with a Space Marine in line of sight. So probably avoid that. I would, I would assume that's probably the play. So we'll see. We shall see. Kill team. The biomass pools in this chamber must be contaminated with the atrophying agent. Begin the process by pouring the flasks into the pools. Expect heavy resistance. Do do I do I have to expect? Can I re like expect like semi normal to not extreme resistance? I mean, I'm kind of all for that. Okay, well this doesn't look so bad. I imagine this is going to be an awful map. It looks like it's got a lot of potential to wreck me. Alright, so this is blocking our line of sight, so clearly there's going to be something here, is what my guess is. So we got LOS blockage there. We're going to have to get over there and do stuff, so let's start with good old Regulus here. Have him walk a little bit forward. Alright, and then what is this thing that we're up against? A Termagant. Get terminated! Oh, and he's got a friend who's all... oh, is a Hormagant. Alright. Well, he got terminated. Get Hormagated! I don't... that sounds bad. That actually sounds worse than being terminated. But, eh. It's fine. We dealt with it. We handled our business. Alright, I think I'm going to move on up over here, and I'm probably going to have to do some overwatching. And I think that's going to be fine right there. Additionally, good old um, Orton. Let's get you to creep on forward. Nothing there. Get a little bit further forward. Can you do that for me, buddy? Yeah! And then you take out that Hormagon right there. Yeah. Nailed it. All right, and then we're going to come on up over here as well with our wonderful, wonderful Jofiel, the veteran space marine of all veteran space marines. I, I've i got nothing. All right, and I suppose we can just roll out like that and chill. I mean, he's got nothing to do, so let's, let's end the turn and get started with the next turn. See if the enemy comes to roll out on us or if they just sit back and wait. Apparently they're content with waiting for us to murder them. I'm okay with this scenario. I really am. Alright, I'm going to move here. And apparently that shows us that there is an enemy over there. That's a termagant. Get terminated again. Alright, so he's dead. 
I think I'm going to have him back up. I hope there's not like a pathway over here, guys. There's a lots of weird sounds. I, that kind of looks like a cave. I hope nothing can come through there. I think I'm kind of blocking the spot anyway, but you never can tell. Alright, we're going to move up. And what do we see? We see that guy. We kind of expected him to be there anyway, so I'm not super concerned with it. Um, what if I move here? Do I have vision of him? I do not. Alright, so we'll move one step further forward. And oh, we not only have vision of him, but we have vision of all sorts of other horrible, awful creatures that want to kill us. Okay, well we'll start with you. And we didn't finish you, but we will. And then we're going to shoot you, and we didn't finish you either. Well, that's not great. Alright, what I think I'm probably going to do... Can I just walk there? No. Alright, I think I'm going to move here. Can, we still can't walk there. Oh, that's so not great. Alright, we're going to actually move down here. I've changed my mind. We're going to do something really dumb. Or we're just going to shoot you. And be like, or, well, you know, we can shoot you. Let's shoot you. Okay, that seems like a little bit of a better play. We can move there now that we are not blocked. And we can take you out. Alright, if he decides to close with us, that's totally fine. We are accepting of that, and we can move past it when that time comes. I want to say one... Two, three, four. Probably could attack us, so we're going to back up one. One step backed up there. I think I'm going to step down here and probably Overwatch to the left. And that's a Hormigant as well, so I don't have to worry about him doing anything. Alright, I think we're okay. I'm going to end the turn and see what's next. This guy should run down. This guy should also move over. And they decide to really, really, really step forward, and... Oh, we got hit. Did I move too far again? Is that what happened? I think I did. I'm an, I'm an idiot, guys. It's fine. Oh, I'm an, I an, an idiot. Well, that was weird and a little bit creepy, for lack of a better term. All right, well, we're going to drop the bomb on him. Probably drop the bomb on him. Oh, we missed. I'm going to back up, though, I think. I think backing up is probably the better play. Alright, additionally, I guess I can move here and maybe overwatch to the left. It's not looking super great. Alright, so that's fine. We can come over here and probably lay in some blasts. I thought for sure I put him in the right position, but apparently I did not. So, my apologies to you all, folks. I try not to do too many dumb things at any given time, but as you can see, that doesn't always happen. Occasionally, dumb things still come out. As much as I would prefer it to be any other way. Alright. Well, that's fine. We're going to end our turn. We're probably going to get shot at by him, unless he decides to actually walk forward. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. That's not really... Oh, that's not blocking line of sight. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, so I figured something else out. The giant pits do not block LOS. Good to know. Alright, so we can shoot people across those. Alright, lesson learned. We're learning as we go, guys. It's kind of like a, an after-school special, I think. Alright, we're going to move up here. I'm hoping that we don't see anything terrible there. Alright, I think we spray whatever weird agent inside this pit of death. Blah! Do it. Blah! Oh, what? He's... He actually is doing it. He just dropped it in there. Look at that, huh? Yeah, that's far less inviting now. It's so mystical. I want to touch it, my lord. No, don't touch it. It's evil. Don't do it. Alright, well, we can't do anything with you just yet, sir. We can come and send you up over here, though. Get our Devastator Marine ready to devastate some fools. I think that's going to be okay. Alright, meanwhile, you, sir, are no longer alive. You, sir, can probably end up doing some overwatching. 
But I think first we're just going to have you cap this dude in the face a couple times. We missed quite a few shots there. I think he's totally fine. We're going to actually back him back up. Going to move you over here, and then we're going to overwatch to the left. And I think I'm probably going to move here. Just to get into a position where hopefully we're not in a terrible spot. Alright, so far so good-ish. I mean, obviously we took a few extra shots that we probably didn't have to. And we probably got wrecked slightly more than we should have in other situations, but overall it wasn't that bad. Alright, I think I would prefer to have you walk up over here and see what's around this corner. There's a long distance guy over there, but we're going to take our, our knee here and then we're going to reach over after we get our little grenade out. And then drop it in. Whee! And so there's going to be much atrophy down inside that pit. And we like it. I'm a little torn here. Oh, that's not great. Huh. Well, I guess we're going to go back this way. I'm going to try to get some semblance of something going on here. I would like to aim over this way. So if you come to face my brother, I will deface your face. I know, it's weird. To be sure. Alright, that doesn't help us as much. That's a termagant, too. Termagant. So that's not super great. Alright, our Devastator Marine can probably not do anything. Because he's a Devastator Marine, and, well... That's pretty much it. Guess we can overwatch down this way as well. Alright, we got a little bit of cover for our boy. Alright, I suppose we can just overwatch straight this way, too. If anybody comes that way, we'll kill him. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's see what's next. You get to hear the slow, steady heartbeat. Oh, we're going to get shot at. It's a pretty far shot. He's got some serious range. I think that's further than most of our folks. Well, it didn't do him a lot of good. Oh, you guys weren't all supposed to unload on the one dude. I think the Devastator alone could have probably handled that. Ouch, we're getting attacked from... Well, that wasn't too bad. And he blocked away of his other little bug friend. So that could have been far worse. Alright, well, he's within range for our one guy. I think I'm just going to take the shot at it. What, what, what do you mean I, I can't hit him? Why is this a thing that I can't do? Can I hit him now? No. What about now? Still no. Okay. Oh, our weapon's overheated. Well, that's awkward. Alright, well, let's get out of the way then. Because that seems like that's probably not super great. Okay, can we hit you? Oh, we can. Isn't that wonderful? Die! That actually didn't do that much damage. Die again? And we missed a second time. We are not very accurate with that weapon. At all. Like, pretty disappointed in the weapon overall. Alright, we're going to chop you up. Zing! Down you go. And then we're going to back up with you. And we are going to... I just back up one more step. Just in case. Going to move here. Going to Overwatch down this way. We're just going to take it slow, guys. There's no reason to rush at this point. Okay, we can Overwatch that way. And yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot again. Let's see what's next. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to trade some blows here. That's it, right? You only have 2 AP. Yeah. This guy's rolling up on our dude. It's not going to work. Come on now. Alright, it is our turn once again. Going to move forward. The guy's going to be right there. We're going to cap him in the face. Theoretically. There we go. Face cabbage. And can we get some face cabbage over here? Not face cabbage, guys. We're not talking about the leafy vegetable. We're talking about a uh, cappage, meaning we shoot them with a gun. Not necessarily a cap gun, but a gun nonetheless. Alright, and we're kind of pinned in here by our own individual. That's not super great. Going to move over here. I guess we're going to stay right there, and then we're going to move over here. 
We're going to end our turn, and then we're going to hopefully be able to make some headway in this next little dealie. Let's see. Will the enemy roll out on us, or are they done for right now? I think they're done. So, it's our turn now. So... Okay. We kind of already knew the Tyranids were going to continue to come. I mean, it's not like they're just going to give up and go home, you know? I mean, that's a little silly, I'm just saying. Alright, that's a Termagant, right? Yeah, we don't want no Termagantin going on. We're going to back up here. Alright, meanwhile, we're going to get you, Magnus, to come on over. And we do not see an enemy just yet. Going to move you up here. Hopefully not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not getting ourselves into too much trouble. No, I don't, I don't actually... Eh. Yeah, I kind of thought we might miss. Oh, I didn't think we'd miss twice. Don't we have like a 75% chance to hit? It seems like this is much lower than it should be because I'm pretty sure we should be able to kill that. Well, we're going to try it again anyway. I say, we should have the line of sight for that. Alright, good. We killed him off. And it doesn't appear that anything else is actually within vision of us. So, theoretically, if we overwatch down this way, that actually does far less than I expect. Oh, it's because we have this thing blocking us. Okay. Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping. We know there's a guy here. There's probably a few over here. This guy's going to move forward, and that's it. That's as far as he can get. I think thought we were overwatching that spot, but apparently not. Alright, gonna move up this way. And I think I'm gonna get one step closer. And then I'm going to unload the pain on him. No, I don't want that. There we go. Unload the pain! Yes, Magnus! Show them your skill. Alright, we're going to come over here and take on the... Okay. Take on this. I was like, wait a minute. I haven't seen that entire corner yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm making a big mistake here. But no, it looks good. All right. So the wolf man's like, hmm. My name is R. Jack Redmayne. Prepare to suck gas. Mutaha. And well, that's what's going to happen. So we're going to come over this way and kind of hold the line there. All right. On this side, we'll send up our amazingly inaccurate individual here. And I think I will actually throw out an overwatch. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Prepare to be shocked. I'm going to step over this way. And once again, the the overwatch hopefully is real. There it is. And Devastator Marine, go! Orton's like, I'm ready, brother. Let's do this. All right, we'll end the turn and see what's next. What are the Tyranids going to bring to bear? Apparently a lot of nothing at this point. Alright, I'm going to try to sneak around this corner, and surprise! There's nothing there. Well, that's a bit awkward. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go drop the thing in the thing, and then that's going to pretty much do it. That looks pretty weird. Okay, it looks like victory is going to be ours. It's a lot quieter in these maps than it was on the others. And I guess that's our extraction point at this point. Um, doth I dare? I think I doth dare. Alright, I'm going to move here. We're going to probably do an overwatch this way. We're going to move down here and overwatch this way. Okay. Nope. There's the overwatch. I'm going to get you to actually step forward one spot. How do we not have vision of that? That seems odd to me. And we're going to move over to here. I suppose to there would hurt us. Well, I was going to say it wouldn't hurt us, but I'm wrong. Alright, so our Devastator Marine's going to have to soak a little tiny bit of damage this time around. That's okay. He's like, you know what, I'm always throwing out the pain, the hatred, the suffering. I suppose I can get slapped around a little bit too, if I had to. Normally I prefer not to do this sort of thing, but you know, sometimes it just happens and you have to roll with it, so. Oh, get wrecked. That's right, you weren't expecting that, were ya? Well, what I can say is, you probably aren't long for this world. 
just kind of some food for thought there. Yep, I thought that was going to be the case. Alright, we're going to get right up on this guy. I hope this whole thing isn't like completely filled with Tyranids. Nope, that's not. Alright, mow down you. Um, That's four to move there. Hmm. Well, we definitely need to get a couple of folks around the corner here to get this handled, so... Hmm. I can move three and then guarantee that I... Well, almost guarantee that I'll kill... Oh, no, there's more than I thought there were. Alright, can we move here and shoot this guy? Let's see. Is that a thing we can do? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, no, we didn't. Gosh, you're so bad. What is your accuracy, dude? Your accuracy is just god-awful. Well, at least he hit that time. So we'll, we'll take two chunks of damage out of this. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. We are so incredibly unlucky when it comes to things happening to us. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we may have screwed this one up, guys. We'll see. I didn't think there'd be a bunch up there. I figured they'd be over here, so that was kind of a, a, a silly misplay, but we'll see. Let's see what actually happens, guys. Let's see. All right, hopefully we can face tank our way through it. It looks like two of them are shooters. Okay, well, that didn't do too much to him. And the double melee also missed. That's a good sign. Single melee missed. Ouch. That was a pretty big hit. That's a pretty big hit, too. That's also... Oh, that would have been a big hit, but it missed. Alright, looks like we have just enough to survive this, but... Let's not worry too, too much, guys. We have plenty of time to still mess up. Trust me. We are not done messing up just yet. Okay, all that being said, you're dead now. You're probably also going to... Oh, you're going to overheat now. Okay. So, there is that. Sweet. Good job. I'm so glad this gun is a part of our arsenal. <clears throat> you're going to miss because you're super good at doing things. Wow. Dude, seriously, what is your what is your glitch? What is the deal here? Does it show us like our percent chance to hit somewhere? Because I feel like it's way lower than what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 75% with this gun, if I'm not wrong. Wow. That's what, eight in a row? Seven? Six in a row? Oh, we finally did it. Look at that. Who knew? Wow. What a load of malarkey. What a load of malarkey. All right, we're going to walk on up here and cut you. Get cut. All right, so he is cut now. We're going to move you on in over here. So we got tore up just a bit, but we're still alive. We're still kicking. It's all good in the hood, so, so to speak. I mean, not that's not great in the hood. That's good, though. It's, it's pretty good. All right. I say we... I don't... I have no idea. I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Oh, yeah, our gun's overheated. All right. Let's just end our turn and then get on to the extraction point and be about our business. It is our turn once again. And that's it reach the chamber walls okay is that victory for us it is victory all right so let's see who was the MVP here uh, 11 12 12 okay so 12 9 was the MVP status and three people actually hit it so pretty good spread this time around Joe Fiel, that gun is garbage I am not impressed at all I'm going to take a look at your accuracy again, because I feel like something's not 100% right. All right, and we've been awarded 20 more Inquisitor points, or Inquisition points. Oh, look, a plasma pistol. Not going to happen. There is only the Emperor, and he is our shield and protector, yet we're always the ones protecting him, so I feel a little bit confused by this. All right, we're going to buy a pack right now and be like, what's up? We're going to tap it to open it. And it's going to be delicious. What did we get? We got ourselves the Bolter, Wrath of Damocles. And that's a, a tier 4 item. That's going to be pretty epic. Alright, we have a veteran wolf uh, tactical marine, maybe? I'm not sure. I think so. Now, what do we have here? We have a Melta gun. That seems pretty impressive. 
All right, well, let's utilize some of these guys then, because I feel like they're going to be better off, and as we know, they're going to have more potential. So that being said, we have Ulf Iceclaw, and he is a veteran... Oh, he's also an assault. Okay, so that's the assault symbol. What is the tactical symbol? That's the tactical symbol. No, no, sorry, that's, that's a devastator symbol. The tactical symbol is this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I see what's going on here. Jofi, old buddy, what do you have? 75% accuracy. How was that 75% accurate? You guys saw we missed five times in a row. 75% accuracy means we miss one out of every four shots, not missing five times in a row. We missed that time more than we hit in that entire mission. That's some seriously bad RNG. I'm just saying, you know, I've had a lot of experience with RNG. That's some pretty bad RNG right there. That's like XCOM levels of RNG, I'm just saying. It's not great. Alright, we're gonna skip your everything. And we're actually gonna go here, and I think I wanna give you the Bolter Wrath of Damocles, but... Maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna give it to you. I think you deserve it. You definitely deserve something better than a pilot guard. What? Plus 30% accuracy? We're gonna equip it, but we're gonna take a look. So that gives us accuracy of 50%. Alright, so this is just... Like, the better equipment seems to be worse for us overall. I don't really understand this. Like, 60%... Like, this is half as good. And the stat upgrades aren't that great. What is this? Plus 50% damage on the targets below 50% health. Uh, what is the melted gun? 70% accuracy. 45 to 55 I might give you a melted gun. I'm not sure what that does specifically. Is there a specific range? Range is four versus the range being what, like six? Okay. So it's a shorter ranged item. I mean, that seems so good. I just, I wonder why the uh, accuracy is so low. That seems so bad. This is literally now a, a hit or miss. It's 50-50, so... Ugh. Um... I'm almost leaning towards going back to the regular bolter. I can't believe the grav gun was so bad, though. 100% chance to stun. Accuracy is 55. It's a 5% difference. I mean, it's not gonna... We just had to have been really, really unlucky, guys. That's all I can think of right now. So we're going to do that. We're going to swap out one of our boys. Uh, who do we want to get rid of? Uh, Regulus or Magnus? You got 2692 and you've got the uh, spread shot, right? The free fire. Yeah, fire on all, at all enemies. What is it that you have good... Oh, wait, that's right. You're the, the cut them to pieces type thing. Ultramarine of death. But I don't care about you. I actually care about your buddy over here. Ice Claw. He's a space wolf. Um... Yeah, you know what? Why don't we roll with you? We're going to actually use you to take over a Red Claw's position here. We're going to swap back to a Bolt Pistol with you, buddy. And we're going to go over here and grab ourselves... How do we do this? I don't think we can swap them here. We have to swap them before the mission, I think is how it works. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we actually have right now. So let's see the Devastator. The Devastator is at the 20. Let's check Jofiel, 20. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough for any of his other abilities. We need a total of, what, 3,000 for that. We need a total of 3,500 for that. And we need a total of 5,000 for that one. Okay, not super great. Alright, and you can't unlock your ability yet either. Attack multiple targets with melee, not super useful still. Uh, we are going to swap you out though. You're going to be replaced. We found your replacement, sir. Huh? Then you have the 3200, but all that's really going to allow you to do is unlock your war gear. Huh. I think I'm going to go with Covering Fire. I think that's the play for you. I'm taking a look over here. That's not terrible either. 7,000. I might save up for that. I'm not sure. And finally, Magnus. We need, what, 3,000 for this? 4,500. So we still have a bit to go for you as well. Alrighty. Well, 
I think what we should do with Magnus... I, I can't. Right, we're going to give him a melt gun. I think that's going to be the play. We're going to equip that. He's going to have a 90% accuracy at this point. And we're going to roll out with that. I think that's going to be an okay maneuver. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had fun. You got to watch me kind of fail near the end. We did okay throughout most of it. There was a couple misplays, but not too bad. I'm hoping that I start tightening this up a little bit more. I felt like the mission before this, I did really decently. This one, I started pretty good, and then I fell all apart at the end. I just wanted to rush for the end, and you can't do that. So you have to get that into your mind. If you're going to be playing this game, don't rush. Just take your time. Do it right. You only have the 4 AP. Use it to your fullest effect and its fullest advantage. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it. I will see you again on, I want to say, maybe on Saturday? Maybe on Saturday. I'll see you with the next episode of Warhammer 40K Death Watch. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Yeah.